Welcome to the homework for lesson 25. This is module 7 of third grade. Please write your name here first. And the robot below is made of rectangles. The side lengths of each rectangle are labeled. Find the perimeter of each rectangle and record it in the table on the next page. So we can see that these are lettered A, B, C, D, E. The legs are F and G. And then that's what we have here. And we're going to, there's the first one, there's the example. So we're going to have a uh, perimeter. And then we're going to show the uh, equation for how we solved it. And then write down what the perimeter is for each, every, for each rectangle. So you can see this is a, this is a, A is a four by four. And that's not multiplication. Well, maybe it is. Uh, it is because it's a square. We're not multiplying all these, so don't take this and just start multiplying the sides because that will give you the area. This one here is, you can multiply it because the sides are all the same. It really should be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I really want to, that's how I'm going to write down all of these, even if there are, I don't, there's one other one that's a square. I'm not going to multiply it just because it, I think it, it's confusing, um, and in, especially with in third grade, to think of area. It's confusing unless you to think of multiplying to get perimeter because you, we want to just keep it in mind that usually multiplying the side lengths gives you the area. It doesn't always give you the perimeter. So just be careful about that and just, just add to make perimeter and multiply to make area. Uh, we're just doing perimeter. So here we have uh, A is done. So B is 2. It's a 2 by 2 square. So the perimeter is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And you can write it that way and still think of it as 4 2s. Okay, so these are all centimeters. All right, that's B and C is eight by six, so it's two eights and two sixes. And if you really want to be fancy about it, I'm just going to give one example of this. You could write it as two times eight plus two times six, but I'm really I am just going to. I'm not going to do that for this because I am going to just stick with addition for perimeter. So 2 eighths is 16. And 2 sixes is 12. And I can just look at that 16 plus 12. And those are pretty friendly to just to work with 28. And these are centimeters. D is a 2 by 5. So it's two twos and two fives. And we can look at that and say that that's uh, 10 plus 4, 14. E is a 5, a same thing, 5 by 2. It's the same as the other arm. This is a uh, bilaterally symmetrical robot, or so it seems so far. Um, Please make sure you write down the equations for all of these. Even if you can just do it in your head and don't just write down a number, please write down the equations. Uh, F is a 7 by 2 and so is G. So it's two sevens and two twos. I like to order them like that. I mean, I could do 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus 2 and like going around clockwise or counterclockwise. And do it like that. If the if the two sides together add up to an easy number, like a five or a ten, then that's how I'll pair them up. But usually, I just other than that, I'm going to use I'm going to use doubles. So this is the two sevens are fourteen, and the two twos are a four. So fourteen and four, that's eighteen. Uh, 